are the standard. You're the standard girlfriend. You're the standard boyfriend. You are the standard in whatever you do. God has made you the standard. Welcome back to Prophet Diary. My name is Tyneek. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Do you want to grow? Do you want to go to the next in your life? Whatever happens on the inside spills out to the outside. Join us here at Prophetic Diary. Everything you need to know is down in the description box. How to sign up for that one-on-one -on -one encouraging coaching call with myself. Take advantage of our 15-minute strategy calls. You won't be disappointed. We just had our Singular Ready series this past Saturday. It was so good. My kingdom spouse showed up and dropped some jewels in the building. So you just never know what to expect here at Prophetic Diary. Singular Ready series. Thank you for everyone that joined me. I have a lot of information this morning, so just bear with me. Our Rosh Hashanah fast, we are going to, I'm dropping the flyer today, but we're starting tomorrow. Our Rosh Hashanah fast, all the details you need will be in the community page. Um, we also have, let me look at my notes, our October word dropping tomorrow. So I'll be releasing the October word tomorrow, and then I have a special announcement tomorrow on our October word. And yeah, so make sure you check us out. Uh, stay connected through the community page, through the WhatsApp app group. Um, but yes, keywinnesses.com to sign up for any services that, the new services that I have. A lot of people are taking advantage of the start your business. A lot of people are revamping their businesses. Call, do you need a strategy call? Just trying to get to the next day with some clarity. I can help you check it out, keywinnesses. You are the standard. You are the standard. They can search high and low, right? They can go to the ends of the earth trying to find another you, but there is only one you. You are the standard. Many of us have put in a lot of work to become who we are today. And the goal is for us to walk and look and talk and be like Jesus, right? But in the image of God, right? We want to operate in the image of God. But through that, God has given us special gifts and special talents individually that he wants us to use throughout this earth. I don't know if you're standing for a kingdom marriage. I don't know exactly what you're believing for. But I know some people have been looking around you, right? They've been promoting others. They've been dating others. They've been, but somehow... They always come back to you because you are the standard. And the Lord gave me this word. Um, he actually gave me a lot of word today, but he gave me this word for you. And when you realize that you are the standard, you're no longer controlled by material things. You're no longer controlled by whether they leave or they stay or they text or they don't. When you realize that you are the standard, right? Sometimes we can get in our heads and think that other women and other men are the standard. But for us personally, God has grown us and made us the standard. When Satan comes to attack our marriages, when Satan comes to overtake uh, our relationships and, and cause trauma, I mean drama in our house with our children, you're the standard. You're the standard. You're that wall that Satan can't get by, right? Your confidence is that wall I'm preaching that Satan can't get by. You are the standard. Sometimes we look around for hope. We look around for joy. We look around for peace. We look around for a man or a woman to save us. Then we realize that, wait, I got that within me. I am the standard. Is this word helping anyone? If this word is helping you, we didn't have our coffee and revelations today, but just say sip, sip. Put a sip, sip down below. I am the standard. I am the standard. Uh, the Lord took me uh, to Leviticus, right? And you guys know that scripture. When the enemy comes down like a flood, the Lord lifts up a standard. Well, maybe your relationship, right? Maybe your love life, maybe your finances. The enemy has come in like a flood to try to destroy you, right? What is that flood? It is nothing more for the children of God, for those who are saved. It's a war in your head. It's a war in your mind. It's a war with the flesh. 
a flood of fear, a flood of intimidation, a flood of doubt, a flood of temptation, a flood of condemnation that you just want to just, you know, maybe I should just give up on this relationship. Maybe I should just give up the idea that they'll ever respect me at this job, right? Maybe I should just, you know, just give up the, the, the oh, I'm not even going to try anymore to build this business. I, I should just let it all go. The enemy comes in like a flood, but the second part is that the Lord lifts up a standard. And what is a standard? A standard is a battle flag. That's what God was pertaining to, a battle flag. We call him Jehovah Nisi, right? And that means the Lord is my banner, right? Follow me. We're going to do a little bit of Bible study in this video. It's my banner. So the Lord says, I lift up a standard. When, when the enemy comes in like a flood, I wave my flag. I wave my flag over her. I'm her redeemer. I'm his redeemer. I set a standard. God has set a standard for us. God has made us the standard through Jesus Christ, has made us strong through our prayer life. God has made us a standard. If you want to get with it, you can get with it. But if you don't want to get with it, then you can get lost. God waves a flag over us and say that's enough. In the Single and Ready series this past Sunday, I mean this past Saturday, we talked about red flags. Don't ignore the red flags. Get the playback if you want. But I am the standard and I'm waving a flag. That's a red flag. That's not going to work for me. Oh, no, you not. Uh, nah, you not. Okay, no, that's a red flag for me. You not showing me you're a loyal friend. Uh, you not consistent. That's a red flag for me. Sometimes you got to raise the flag. Sometimes you got to pay attention to the flag. And the Lord says, I lift up a standard. When the enemy comes in and try to take you out and try to play with you, try to use you, try to manipulate it, devouring spirits come to come. Devouring spirits try to come and take your thoughts, take your mind, take your money, take your finances. God said, I wave a flag. Sometimes he'll send a prophet and he's using me today to wave a flag and say, hold up, sweetie, you're the standard. Lift up a standard. And the thing is, that man knows. That man knows that you're the one. He knows. She knows, brothers. He, She knows that it don't get no better than that. God made that for me. God created that for me. Now, how they get home to you. Oh, that's a whole nother video. How they come and, 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 and oh, we already talked about it. They got to go through God to get to you. There it goes. But this is the standard. A standard doesn't budge. A standard, a standard doesn't budge, right? God doesn't budge. The enemy may come in like a flood, and some of us try to swim through that relationship, swim through those floody waters, and floody waters are just bashing up against your house and objects. We just had a bunch of floods all over the East Coast this weekend, but objects and cars flying, and all you can do is stand there and wait for someone to rescue you. But somebody say, uh-uh, my God will lift up a standard. My God will raise a flag. I am the standard. I am his child. Our relationship, mm, we got to set a standard. We got to set a standard. When people try to come into our relationship, we're going to raise a flag. Oh my goodness. There's so many ways to look at this. Whatever this word means for you, it is for you today. So I want to let you know that you are the standard and you better stand on business and they can get with it or they get lost. If you sow into this word, get with it or get lost. I love you, family. See you on the next video. See you on our October live. Hope you guys draw, um, join the fast. Get that strategy call. Bye. See you later.